Assalamu alaikum. I am Shahzad Islam Shawan. Today I am going to show how to use session using Flutter PHP MySQL. Let's start. This is our demo and login screen, and this is our user of the PST tab and one two three password. Login, and we can see here this is our user information. So we are execute this as like so when i click this another page go to the uh, go to another page but we cannot see here user information we also see here uh, user information uh, but when i click cancel and reopen it it keep user information existing existing user information and now we are also want to exit these apps click we cannot exit because he already take session user so now we are also implement this when i click logout button this logout and need to log in again so let's start this is our basic ui let's try to log in again one two three there have no user information so let's start we are also implement it first all of we are also need to have pubspec.yml flutter session then we are also go to login page here if you are not see how to implement this login and register please see my video and shahjudul islam sound channel so first this is our login success area so we have to need avid flutter session dot set we are we have to need set here token and we have to need another value so we put it here user text and okay just one line here and we have to need re retrieve this value so go to dashboard and here we are also implement fuser builder fuser builder so fuser builder take two parameter snapshot sorry context and snapshot and return text snapshot has data so snapshot has data get snapshot data short dot data is loading hello hello di is loading So one line here. Now we have to need pass fuser here. Fuser fuser here. We are also take it from floater session at a floater session dot get token. So we have to no need it. So we take it get from here. So now we start again. Reload first. So now let's log in again. One two three. 
login we can see here this is user information come from session login so now we are go to another page there have no any user information so now how to keep this user information if we are sign out or log out we can see here information but we if we are not log in here so how to keep user information and if we exit this app and reopen it it's open or not now check it come our login information so we have we want to use uh, go to our direct dashboard so now we are also implement it go to our void main section and here we type we get dots which gets binding with this folder binding dot and show initialize now we receive from get token information Avid dynamic token token if token equal to empty not empty we want to show here dashboard our dashboard so dashboard is we want to show home page so now reload again or it's better to restart again now see here come to our directly dashboard so this way we are also implement session system now how to implement login logout section so this flutter session there have no clear method so we are also implement another way so go to our dashboard when <coughs> i press logout button here so flutter session dot set token equal null that's it so this way we are also log out this apps from this apps here we are declare if not login so let's try to log out here log out now <coughs> see here we cannot log in go to dashboard again so if we exit these apps from this from state login we have to need to login again so this way we are also implement session method i hope to you are also like this tutorial next tutorial are coming soon complete e-commerce apps with dual database firebase and sql database Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.